Hi guys, so in an extremely concerning development, a situation is brewing in Northern Ireland that risks getting completely out of control. This is a report from Sky News. It says here, a boy, 13 years old, was among arrests after 15 police officers were injured in a Belfast riot. Now it goes on to say in the report, that officers were policing a small protest in the Loyalist Sandy Row area of the city when they came under attack. District Commander Chief Superintendent Simon Walls said officers uh, had suffered burns, head and leg injuries after being subjected to a sustained attack by rioters throwing heavy masonry, metal rods, fireworks and manhole covers. And you can see some of the pictures here. Now, what, what is this about? Why are these people rioting? The problem stems from the Northern Ireland Protocol and Brexit, basically. Now, these people have been egged on for the last number of months by the likes of the DUP. The Democratic Unionist Party, the largest Unionist Party in Northern Ireland, uh, headed by Eileen Foster and others, and they have been using language such as guerrilla warfare against the Northern Ireland Protocol. Now they have been demanding that the Northern Ireland Protocol be shelved, be thrown away, be torn up. They haven't actually suggested what it would be replaced with, but they, um, they have had a long history of convincing elements within the loyalist community to take a more direct approach to um, dealing with problems that they see as facing unionism. Now the DUP say that the Northern Ireland Protocol is in a way destroying the union. You have to remember that the DUP voted for Brexit, they campaigned for Brexit, they, it was a situation where there was um, going to be a border somewhere, either on the island of Ireland or in the Irish Sea. The UK government said, look, we're not going to accept a border on the island of Ireland. The European Union said the same thing. The government in Ireland said the same thing. So the alternative was to have a border in the Irish Sea or the UK as a whole part of the single market and the customs union. Now, unfortunately, the DUP were completely against the latter. So the only other alternative was to have a border in the Irish Sea. Now that there is a border in the Irish Sea, the DUP are complaining. Now they have used language, as I said, such as using guerrilla warfare against the Northern Ireland Protocol, but their supporters in the loyalist community will listen to this, will hear these dog whistles and will take a more direct approach. And this seems to be what's playing out in Belfast over the last number of evenings. Now, how do we resolve this? Well, there is one way to resolve it is having the entire UK rejoin the single market and the customs union. But in regard to this violence that's taking place, you need the likes of the DUP to rein these people in. The DUP have been egging on these people for months now, and they have a long history of egging on uh, loyalist paramilitaries. But in regard to the protocol, the protocol is here to stay. The UK government have basic, basically come out and said, we're going to support the protocol. So the only people who really have a true problem with the protocol is the loyalist paramilitaries and the DUP. Those people have to come to terms with the reality that in many cases that they voted for and understand that they cannot resort to violence in order to get their way. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?